Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco. I hope you're doing well. Uh, you may remember in the last video that I did, we created a little scene of a, a model out sitting in a puddle somewhere. Uh, and we lit the scene up entirely using the sun sky dome uh, that is available within Daz. If you've not yet seen that video, you can find the link up in the top right hand corner there. Uh, it's well worth a watch just to, to learn about how the sun sky dome works well i did point out in that video that there was a slight limitation because it is sun sky only what that means is that you can't use point lights you can't use spotlights so if you you know you try to create an image in that you've got to rely purely on the sun that's created plus as well you could maybe use a missives but you certainly can't use spotlights and point lights uh well this video we're going to have a look at a little hack to show you how to create uh, an image in the sun sky dome in the sun sky environment and if you need to to be able to add spotlights and point lights in there so if we take a look over here in the viewport we've got a girl sitting on a rickety old bed uh, in a dusty room with a window over on this side and what i've set it up at the moment to do if we come a look and look in the render settings we've got it set up on sun sky only and there's a few little settings that i've set in there just to try and get the lighting correctly that i want uh, and as you can see it is set to sun sky only like i mentioned just a couple of minutes ago so we won't be able to have spotlights work i do have a spotlight in the scene here and at the moment we've got it turned off but i'm going to turn it on right now so you can see its position and if i come to perspective you can see where the, the spotlight is set up just here pointing at the the face of our model so if we come back to our camera and we go through to nvidia iray uh, we'll see what effect this spotlight is having on this scene now i will have to use a little bit of movie magic here because this takes a long time to get a, an image uh, to come out the door so I'll, I'll edit it a little bit so that we can jump to the rendered image And so what we end up with is this really highly atmospheric image where we've got our sunlight shining through this window from our sun sky dome. There's just one problem though. Our model is in darkness. She's in shade, in shadow. There's, there's no light shining upon her face so we can't see any details. But we've got a spotlight in the scene that we, that we looked at earlier and it's shining right at her and it's got a lumen flux down here of 15,000 lumens. But she's not lit up even if we put in a whole load of zeros in there to turn the light into something that should be burning our eyes out nothing absolutely nothing happens so what we need to do then is do a little hack to allow us to use this spotlight with the sun sky and what i'm going to do to begin with i'm going to turn off the spotlight so we see the before and afters okay turn that off so even if it was shining the light it's not going to be shining anything now but what it is that we need to do is we need to come over again to our render settings and we need to change the environment mode to dome and scene bear with me bear with me we have to change it to dome and scene i'll do that now the image will reset because we'll now start to use the default hdri and then uh, i'll speed the render up so that we can we can get the clear picture then So as you can see now, everything has plunged into darkness. Well, not quite fully dark. Uh, and the reason for that is because we're now over on dome and scene, as we, we just set it to. But we're also using the Ruins default HDRI to light up our scene. Of course, it's a different light. It's, it's not as bright, etc., etc. So everything's now gone to dark. So now what we need to do is we need to go back to the functionality of the Sun Sky Dome, but remain in dome and scene. And how we do that is we come to the environment map, we click on the little icon, we come up to none, and we remove that default HDRI. Again, I'll do that now. I'll let the image re refigure itself, and then we'll come back in a moment or two. So now what's happened here is now that we've removed the environment map, we've got rid of the default HDRI, the ruins hdri that gets put in there daz has defaulted to the absolute default hdri which is the sun sky and for good measure it's put all of the sun sky details and sliders into the render settings even though we're still on dome and scene 
and the light has reverted to what it would be or what it was when we just had it set to sun sky and so now if we were to turn this spotlight on because we're in dome and scene which is saying show the dome and any scene lights we now go over to and put the spotlight back in and we light up the front of our model as you can see there with the spotlight and we also get the benefit of the sun sky dome also in the light that that provides so there you go there's your little hack that's how you can use uh spotlights and point lights uh with your sun sky dome just change it over to dome and scene take the environment map away and your spotlights will work uh, and with a little bit of jiggery pokery in photoshop we end up with a final image of our little model sitting on the bed lit up quite nicely thanks for watching i hope you've got something out of this do the usual for me will you like and share and do whatever it is that, that you like to do really appreciate that if you haven't already please consider subscribing and hitting the little, little notification bell down below i am on the charge to get 10,000 subs and so i really appreciate it if you help me do that and as always if you've got any questions uh, about this about lighting in general or even anything about daz pop it in the the comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i possibly can thanks for watching i'll see you next time bye bye now